How did you get by? The fighters in the air. Aha. The fighters. Well. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you got to see, we will explore the French bomber MB-162. Its bomb load is a pretty weak one. It may be able to destroy a big base with its 4 500kg bombs if it is a 4.7 battle, but if it is a 5.0 or higher BR battle, the bomb load won't be enough anymore. For small bases it usually takes 3 500 kg bombs to destroy them. The bomber has some very strong engines. You can maintain your climb at a speed of 400 km per hour and by the time you will get to the enemy bases you will already be at 6000 meters altitude, which will render you unreachable for any of the enemy fighters. This mainly being the reason why the plane kept getting a higher and higher BR. A problem that could be solved by just moving its spawn from long range bombers to medium range bombers. Its critical speed is around 560 km per hour, indicated airspeed, so you should be careful about the turns you make. The manual engine control on this plane allows for an engine setup that can help you to brake very well, if you happen to gain too much speed. The turn rate of this plane is great, it allows you to not lose in terms of maneuverability against quite a bunch of fighters that you will get to meet at your BR. Still, there are plenty that will outturn you easily, so I recommend not to take too long when trying to get rid of the opponents that engaged you. In terms of armor, this plane has none. Unless you have an experienced crew, it will die from the even the slightest hits in the center of the plane. So for the beginning, I would recommend to not try to test how tanky your plane is and try to plan your turns in such a way in which you will get the least amount of damage. The defense at the first glance might seem good, but that isn't exactly true. It's the main problem I have with this plane. It has two 20mm cannons and two 7.5mm machine guns. All of these are facing backwards and have very narrow angles, which renders you unable to fight back any of the enemies that engage you from the frontal semisphere. Your only way of fighting enemies is by making sure that the tail of the plane is facing them. If the enemy is smart enough, he will just evade attacking you from that spot. And even if the enemy attacks you from your six, your gunners have no protection and are all concentrated in one spot. 
a little strafe and all of your gunners are dead. Even an acid crew can't tank most of the opponents you will be facing. The only way of fighting back opponents that is more or less safe is to enter in a turn fight with them and in those little moments they pass in front of your turrets you'd have to shoot them down. Considering the mediocre ballistics of the Hispanos 404 20mm cannons and their questionable accuracy, it will prove a challenge to get used to making kills with them, in a way I recommend it. But it is still the safest way. Also, the cannons have a low ammo capacity of 120 bullets per turret. Those overheat fast and without an experienced crew the reload is going to take around a minute. An aced crew will be able to reload the turret in 30 seconds, so you gotta be careful how you spend your ammo. And in the few moments when you have no enemies around, reload your turrets by overheating them or emptying the magazine, so you can be sure that in the next engagement you won't get any surprise. I might have had some fun on this bomber, but I am aware that most of the players will have a very bad time on it. Even my bomber fans hate this bomber, which is saying something considering that they are as skilled as me. So I won't recommend you this plane unless you are into masochism and love to swim in an ocean of pain to get these little happy moments when you finally manage to make at least one kill. But I doubt that there are many people with such specific tastes. This is all for this time. If you have any bombers in mind that you would like to see on my channel, you are free to write your proposals in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.